An education-led coalition that includes school boards, Arizona teachers, unions, doctors, and parents are coming together to go up against the state. News for Tucson's Eric Fink spoke to a teacher who was part of the group that claims that recently enacted state laws are unconstitutional. He joins us now live in the studio with the story. Eric. Over the law that has put a mask mandate ban in place in our schools. I spoke with one of the plaintiffs today and a parent in the Marana School District. Her kids are too young to get the vaccine and she backs the lawsuit. For the past couple of weeks, it's been um, a level of frustration that I have not felt ever. Abby Lavacek has three kids, nine, seven and four, who go to Ironwood Elementary. She sends them to school in masks every day. Three months before the pandemic started, my mom died on a ventilator. I, I don't want that for anyone, including those parents that don't want their children masked. Now a lawsuit filed against the state of Arizona by a group of educators and doctors who want the mask mandate ban thrown out. They say recent laws passed by our legislature in the final days of this last session are unconstitutional. History is on the side of, of doing the right thing. Tucson's Corina Ontiveros teaches in TUSD. She's one of the plaintiffs taking on the state. Also part of the lawsuit, a challenge to the recent ban on critical race theory, something Ontiveros argues isn't being taught in our schools. We're talking about educators and students engaging and critical thinking, which at the end of the day is going to be what moves our country ahead. In response to the lawsuit, a spokesperson for Arizona Attorney General Mark Burnovich sent us this statement. Quote, it is disappointing that special interest groups are once again trying to undermine Arizona's lawfully enacted statutes and indoctrinate our children with critical race theory. We will continue to defend the law and uphold the will of Arizona families. Lavacek is thankful for this coalition willing to take this chance. There are people out there that are looking to help and make sure that our children's safety is paramount. It's important that, that our governor recognize his shared humanity with all of us. And if he can recognize his shared humanity, if our legislators can recognize that shared humanity, then they'll see that it's okay to change unjust laws, to change things that need to be changed. And coming up on Monday, the Pima County Board of Supervisors will revisit the issue of a mask mandate in K through 12 schools that failing by one vote earlier this week. And a short time ago, a spokesman for Governor Ducey sent me an email saying they're confident the legislation that they passed is completely constitutional. Live in studio tonight, I'm Eric Fink, News 4 Tucson. Matt.